Hey guys, so I want to show you something really cool that I am demoing. GPS. Also, there's the new pickup truck for all you've been asking. But I want to talk to you about the GPS today. So this is a new house lot. We got driveway coming in uh, about 400 feet up there. And the nice field is going to be the house. Um, so I am demoing Trimble's... Uh, 585 uh, base and rover system you can see it says demo and uh, along with the site tablet here so it's full-on GPS there's my site I've already calibrated so there's my hold on get out of the Sun there's my base so it uses a uh, base anywhere. I'm going to do a couple more videos about this, so I'm going to kind of briefly touch on it, and then in another video I'll explain a little bit more how it all works. Um, but really quick, you can set up the base, which is that, literally anywhere. You don't need to be over a known control point. Um, and then you need the file into your tablet, and you can either draw it in SketchUp and then import it into there. So, like, here's my drawn plan which might be a little hard to see, but you can see it's the same thing that's on the tablet. So if your surveyor or your builder gave you something like this, you can use all these tie points that are on here and you could draw this in SketchUp and then import it into that. Um, or if the surveyor is really nice, you can ask for a certain file format, which is a DXF file format and you don't even have to draw it. You can just import it straight into your tablet, um, which is, I have done. So then you obviously have to calibrate the site so you shoot two known points, um, and then it basically moves your map that is on here around in the air. So you can see um, there is a little triangle, and there. So those are my control points. They are the bounds on the house lot, which is one over there. They're out on the road beyond the, the trees and one over there. So I already shot those. You basically just select, you say, hey, I wanna calibrate the site. I'm over this one, shoot it. And then you go to this one, I'm over this one, shoot it. And as long as everything's in tolerance, uh, it basically will orientate the map according to those two uh, properly. So, I'm going to go way out there because we're laying out the house today, and uh, we will lay it out, and I'll show you how it works. Okay, so I have found my corner. I am set up on the corner. You can see right there, I'm within 0.1, so I'm within 2 inches, which I still have to strip this, so I'm just trying to get a rough layout to know where everything is. So you can see the builder was right there, and it's actually right there. So he's actually he's within three feet with his tape measure. So uh, very accurate. So I got my stake and my hammer. So I'll pull this out, and I will pound this right in there. There's my corner. Uh, then we'll go to the next one, go to the end. We'll pound that in, and we'll go right around, work our way around, and uh, lay out this entire site all by myself. Uh... You know, like I said, this one would have had pull ties of over 300 feet from the back. The other pull ties are out in the woods. Um, so literally in, I don't know, this is a little bit bigger. I, this would probably take me 20 minutes to lay out by myself with this. Uh, I can, like I said, lay out the driveway. I'm going to use this to lay out the septic. It's going out in there. Um, so maybe I'll check back in uh, when we have some work done. All right, guys, I have the entire site laid out. It's been about 20 minutes. So, a little hard to see. Corner, corner, jog in, corner there. Corner in the back, little jog there. Uh, there, juts out to there, juts out to there. And uh, I was even able to lay out the driveway. There's driveway corner. Uh, there is the beginning of the arc. It arcs over to right there. That's uh, driveway. And then I have it marked. You can't see it because it's 
Got some paint on me. Um, you can't see it all the way down because it's through the uh, tall grass. But uh, yeah, pretty friggin' awesome, if you ask me. 20 minutes by myself. Like I said, about 420 foot driveway. Uh, laid out the house, not a complicated house or anything, but uh, nothing special with that. But pretty sweet. Um, like I said, I'm demoing the system. Uh, I've actually used it on a couple jobs so far, but I wasn't very comfortable. It does definitely a learning curve with it. I wasn't very comfortable uh, with it, so I didn't want to make a bad video for you guys. So, But just want to show you very briefly how uh, that all works laying it out. And really, layout is just the tip of the iceberg with this system. I can actually... Uh, you can basically use it as a regular GPS full-fledged system. This one does have some limitations. Um, like range, uh, they say about a thousand feet of range from the base. Uh, which, if you have a 2,000 foot, uh, say, road going on, you just put it in the middle and you'll be good to go. Uh, so, you know, you do have a decent amount of range, but uh, it is GPS, so you get affected by trees, uh, power lines, all the normal stuff that GPS gets affected by. Um, but it's pretty good. It's definitely a, a lower cost system than a full-fledged GPS, uh, which makes it affordable for a guy like me, small contractor. So I think I'll be probably pulling the trigger on buying this sometime in the near future. But uh, the other things it can do is uh, like volume calculations. So say, just for instance, the road way down there say they wanted it completely flat all the way back here and we wanted to know how many yards was all in this this field to get it down to that elevation i can walk through this whole field shoot a whole bunch of points shoot the road tell the system that i want a flat plane on that and it calculates uh the yardage uh based off of the points that i shot and the elevations it'll calculate the yardage for you and tell you how much you got to remove so amongst many other things that it does, but pretty friggin' cool. I am uh, super actually impressed with this on this job site. So thanks for watching.